How does Elon Musk spend his billions? Have you ever heard of someone say that no one can ever have too much money? Well, I think you could find several people in the world that may have reached that point in their lives. Elon Musk is one of those. He's one of the richest people on the planet with about $200 billion of worth to his name. His main claim to fame is Tesla, the electric car company of which he is the CEO. Although he doesn't accept a salary from Tesla, he does get a massively incentivized pay package. Along with his wealth, Elon Musk has roughly $600 million in estimated proceeds from previous salaries, bonuses, investments, dividends, and stock transactions that come into his coffers on a regular basis. He's also the CEO of SpaceX, which is valued at $15.3 billion, and he's the founder and main investor of The Boring Company. PayPal is another one of the companies that started him on his way to wealth. The past few years has seen his wealth grow almost $140 billion, and that's shot him up to the top of the list of the wealthiest people on the planet. You can tell a lot about a man by how he handles his money. Let's take a look at how Elon Musk spends his billions. I think you might be a little surprised. Real Estate One of the interesting things about Musk is that he currently is not spending huge amounts of his wealth on real estate. In keeping with a commitment on Twitter that Elon made in May of 2020 to sell all of his homes, he sold all of his over $100 million worth of real estate that he owned. In all, there were six properties, including a 47-acre estate located in Hillsborough, California, a pricey location in the San Francisco Bay Area. That property featured a 10-bedroom Mediterranean-style mansion that was built in 1916. Another home he sold was a 16,000-square-foot, seven-bedroom mansion in Los Angeles' Bel Air neighborhood. Elon Musk also sold a 33,796-square-foot property and a smaller one, which is a 1,540-square-foot home in Los Angeles as well. The only home he now currently has is a 400-square-foot, $50,000 boxable tiny home that's on the SpaceX property in Boca Chica, Texas. He says it suits his current needs and is comfortable. Philanthropy in 2012, Elon Musk signed the Giving Pledge and promised to give a majority of his wealth to charitable causes over his lifetime. In 2015, he gave $10 million to the Future of Life Institute, which is aimed at ensuring that artificial intelligence technology is beneficial to humanity. Musk donated $255 million worth of Tesla stock in 2016 to his own foundation called the Musk Foundation. Some question the validity of that contribution since an investigation by The Guardian in 2019 found that the Musk Foundation, although it's contributed millions to 160 charities for almost 20 years, it's also given money to a school where his children attend. A charity run by Musk's brother has received money as well, and a protest group fighting gridlock on Musk's commute to SpaceX, among other questionable gifts. In 2018, a report by Bloomberg came out that said Elon Musk had made $6 million in anonymous donations to the environmental group, the Sierra Club. It said that he requested for these donations to be kept private, but his reasoning for the gift was to offset more than $88,000 that he donated to Republican politicians. That's quite the offset. Transportation Considering that Musk is the CEO of an automobile manufacturing company and of a space exploration company, you would think that he would have some really awesome modes of transportation. Well, you would be right. In 2013, at an auction, Elon paid $1 million for a rare 1976 Lotus Spirit sports car that was used in the filming of the 1977 James Bond film, The Spy Who Loved Me. The only two gasoline-powered cars that he now owns are a 1920 Ford Model T, which was a gift, and also a 1967 Jaguar Series 1 E-Type Roadster. In the past, Musk has owned a 1978 BMW 320i, a 1997 McLaren F1, a 2006 Hammond BMW M5, a 2008 Tesla Roadster, a 2010 Audi Q7, and a 2012 Porsche 911 Turbo. I'm thinking that he must keep his vehicles at the SpaceX site in Boca Chica since he's no garage to put them in. In July 2019, Musk said on Twitter that he mostly drives Tesla's Model S performance sedan. He's also been spotted driving Tesla's new Cybertruck around Southern California. Now, most billionaires own super yachts, but not Musk. He's declared that he doesn't want one. He also says that he doesn't take vacations because he doesn't have time for them. Transportation for him is very utilitarian. 
Musk wakes up each morning at around 7 a.m. He says he likes getting around six to six and a half hours of sleep per night. Musk claims he regularly works 80 to 100 hour work weeks, with most of his skill set being focused on design and engineering work. Since he can't travel in space quite yet, he uses the best he can find to travel in the air. The billionaire has two Gulfstream private jets registered at Falcon Landing, which is an LLC connected to SpaceX and Tesla. The Gulfstream G550 is the newest addition to his fleet. It has space for 17 passengers, but has been converted to a sleeping configuration. The other one, the G650, is bigger and has more miles on it, but it's his preferred ride from California to Texas. Investments Musk has said in the past that he typically only invests in his own companies. According to the New York Times, he's invested $112 million in his company, The Boring Company. Now, though, he's started to invest in tech companies like the artificial intelligence startup DeepMind and a neurotechnology startup NeuroVigil. For the time being, Musk's wealth is largely in Tesla stock. In keeping with the pledge he signed to get rid of his wealth, he's planning to sell off $100 million of Tesla stock every few years. In October 2018, he wrote on Twitter that you should ask why I would want money. His answer to that was, the reason is not what you think. Very little time for recreation. Don't have vacation homes or yachts or anything like that. About half of my money is intended to help problems on Earth and half to establish a self-sustaining city on Mars to the continuation of life, all species of life, in case Earth gets hit by a meteor like the dinosaurs or World War III happens and we destroy ourselves. Definitely not the norm for the way a millionaire or billionaire spends money. Elon Musk is not about bling or lavish living. He seems to be honestly trying to use his wealth for good. In an interview with Joe Rogan, he said that possessions weigh you down. His Mars project seems to be his most expensive project to date. His plan is to have a self-sustaining city on Mars by 2050. The cost for his project will be anywhere from $100 billion to $10 trillion. He's hoping that he can get the world to see the importance of the Mars project and invest one half to 1% of the world's gross domestic product to it. That would be a world contribution of 400 to $900 billion. He calls this a wise investment. Elon Musk also has invested more than $1.5 billion in cryptocurrency. As you can see, in many ways, Elon Musk is not your normal billionaire. He is wealthy and everyone knows it, but his spending is not on the lavish excesses of life. Bill Gates has brought us advances in computer technology through Microsoft. Bezos has brought us advancements in online shopping and delivery through Amazon. Arnold has worked wonders in the cosmetic world. And Musk has brought us a possibility of a cleaner world through advances in electricity and space exploration. He also reinvests in his companies and plans to use his wealth to better the world. Well, thanks for watching our video. Please give us a like and share us with your friends. Subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any great content. Until next time.